three movies in 90 seconds. I'm One Take Lopez. In case you can't tell, I'm about to have dinner. It's Sunday, going to grandpa's. There's so many lies in this right now. It's Tuesday, I was about to say. It's not Tuesday, it's Thursday. I'm a compulsive liar. What I also am is a movie reviewer. And that's what we're gonna focus on right now because that's the important thing. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Chappie, the second best exotic Marigold Hotel, and last but not least, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Um, it's two movies starring Dev Patel and one that he was smart to avoid. I'm sure they offered him a role. All I need now is 90 seconds on the clock from Founder, and then we are going to do this. Are you ready? Um, no, but yes. One take Lopez, go. All right, so Chappie. Now, the thing is about Chappie, it's an interesting film. It's an interesting idea. And if I was only judging the middle section of this movie, I'd be giving it a great review because it tells a pretty good story in that part. The thing is, the beginning is eh, and the end is basically just a RoboCop remake, only not as interesting. That's, that being said, I do like the ideas of the movie. I do like the director. I do like the character. I don't really get some of the side characters. I don't really understand why they were there. And I think Hugh Jackman is totally wasted. It's an okay movie. It could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot more exciting, but what can you do? Now we're gonna move on to the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. If you really like the first one, you'll probably like this one. I didn't see the first one. I was too young. Um, I'm probably still too young for this one, to be honest. I thought it was giving me more of a slapstick comedy, if I'm being perfectly honest, from the trailers. It turns out to be a lot more emotional, a lot more interesting, and I kind of appreciated that. The story was really good, the cast was really good. If you like old people and you don't want to just go visit your grandma or your grandpa at the nursing home, go see Second Best Mary inside a gold hotel instead. You'll totally enjoy it. Now, last, but certainly not least, is Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I take that back, it certainly is least. This movie is so bad, it genuinely made me kind of dislike the first one. And I really liked the first movie when it came out, but that's how bad the sequel is. I don't know what any of the cast is doing here. I hope they got fat paydays, because otherwise, they really just embarrass themselves. It makes me really dislike most of them. Uh, they kind of all phone it in. The script is horrible. The editing is horrible. Everything about it is horrible. And we're it's done. So Horrible, apparently we're done. That's how horrible it is. It is so horrible that if I messed this up, if I went beyond the 90 seconds, it's because of Hot Tub Time Machine 2. That is how it, I don't know if you see this, I am getting up on my tippy toes, it's so bad. My voice is hitting octaves that doesn't normally hit. Bad movie. Mm. Bad. So the second best Marigold Hotel, was that like the cocoon for this generation? <laughs> yes, but more British. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, got the cocoon, the cocoon, eh? Be all wrapped up, turn a chrysalis. Yes. Into a butterfly. Yes. A little bit more Harry Potter, but yes. Okay. So um, you know, Death to Tell, he was on Skins. That's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Totally yeah. British. All right. I have no idea. Anyway, I never thought that. I'm sorry. It's on Netflix. All right. Um, shout out to Netflix for being there for us. Yeah, I'm watching every episode of They're Sunny in Philadelphia now. I haven't watched that show yet. I love that show. It's I so know. good. All right. Well. Anyway, uh, this is not It's Always a Sunny in Philadelphia talk, so we will wrap this up. Until next time, like, share, comment, tell all your friends, put out a smoke signal, send facts. If you have email capabilities, do that. How else do people contact each other? Write letters. Write letters to your senator and tell them you want more 3 and 90. It might work. That they might just be like... <laughs> no, do that. Do I, that. Do, yes. Totally do that. Write your totally senator. Do that. Say, damn it, Obama. <laughs> Obama's not your senator. Yeah, I know, what but are you doing? It, that's what everybody says. Send damn it, Obama. Email to Hillary Clinton, and nobody will ever know it exists because she'll delete it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or send an email to Bill De Blasio, and he'll try to watch this, but he'll get there too late. Aww. All right. Until next time, I'm Joe Lopez. This is 390. Out.